So I've also found this um, item recently. Most recent find, you can see it's got this notch cut out. Has a thumb depression here, a handle that it can be held. It also came with a second piece. Um, found them like this at the root of a tree, another root of a tree. Um, this item was also found at the root of an oak tree uh, at the Flint Pit in Banstead Wood where I've found all of these items. This item is really interesting because you can see it uh, balances on the piece but it has kind of like an upper and lower limit at which it will balance so it will go straight up like this at kind of a 90 degree angle. You can hold it against a shaft and it kind of creates almost a pyramid against the shaft. This back bit runs at pretty much the same angle. Tip it back and it will fall off so it won't balance any further than that but it will create like a plumb line straight up whoops going the other way so you've got it this is quite difficult but you've got it balanced straight up like this you can tip it forward till it runs in line with the shaft but any further than that and it will fall off so it's lower limit is the 51 degrees that these are all made to lean at so that seems to suggest to me that this was a another checking item quality control item but it's a weighted measuring device so it uses the angle of repose the weight here um, once it goes beyond 51 degrees the angle of this it causes it inevitably every time to fall off um, gravity gravity doesn't lie um, so this is a uh, in an age in an, in the stone age where there aren't many universal means of measuring something uh, gravity using weight um, weighted measuring devices was a sure way of knowing that these items uh, were leaning at the correct angle suggests these were being mass produced these are ancient flint sundials uh, that were being made in the area of London um, I think these are perhaps um, late Neolithic, 